نحمد و نسلی اللہ رسول الکریم اما بعد فعوز باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قلب المؤمن بیت اللہ مائی ڈیئر فرینڈس جسٹ ون کوشچن وٹ ڈو یو تھنک از دی بیسٹ موومنٹ اے پرسن مائٹ ہیو وٹ ڈو یو تھنک اٹ کڈ بی any movement according to the likes or dislikes of that particular person or a human being but i think one of the best movement is when you know that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remembers you so my friends this mafil today you are all fortunate that you are here you are doing zikr e kalbi you are doing zikrullah and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also remembers you this is one of the best things a person might have in his whole life there are so many things we strive for we work towards to a life without achievement an unsuccessful life a unworthy life might be a one of the biggest regrets a person might have when he is he knows that he is passing away and he's it's the last breath he's taking so my friends what does the wali allah do what does the wali allah do they make you live a life free of regrets a accomplished life a fulfilled life a life filled with purpose a life filled with harmony a life filled with peace a life filled with success and which life is that it is the life which sahaba ikram lived just let's recall those moments just sharpen our memory just you know think about the lives of sahaba ikram before the our nabi akram muhammad mustafa taj dar e haram sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam came those were the normal human beings of makka of taif a world was not ready to do trade with them people were not ready to come and visit them they even wouldn't fight with them they would bury their daughters alive they were putting a wreath on their own lives just one presence of our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and they showed the world how a brotherhood might be brought together how a successful life might be lived and alhamdulillah that way of sunnah the way of aqai namdar tajdar e halam sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam is sunnah my sheikh does the same my sheikh holds a very simple personality you know a lot of the times i wonder because i travels with him i have, i'm his son so i have lived my whole life with him i've seen him he is he's such a simple man you wouldn't even recognize him he might pass us by you in the market you wouldn't even recognize him you might find him in a queue at the airport was in our prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam living like that he would go into the markets he wouldn't disturb the method of the business happening in the market he would be a such a simple person yet with such a strong personality and today we look at ourselves we put it we display our personality with the help of a gown with the help of a mama with our physical visual attributes where are these spirits where is our spiritual being it's lost my friends my sheikh what he does he makes you revive that your spiritual being alhamdulillah my sheikh his message is such a beautiful and a simple message 
Alhamdulillah, my Sheikh has more than 100 madarasas in Pakistan. And one of the biggest madarasa of my Sheikh, the biggest madarasa of my Sheikh is at Dargah Allahabad Sharif, city of Kandiyaro in district Nosharo Feroz in Sindh. Alhamdulillah, we have quite a few hundred students learning the life how our Prophet lived. And my Shaykh, not only with his words, not only sitting at a member and with his, his vocal and physical attributes shows them how the Prophet lived his life, but he lives his life completely like that. My, my Shaykh is a businessman. And Alhamdulillah, with, with whole heart, I can tell you that today if I am here, today if I am able to travel, today if I am able to live a complete and a lovely life, is because my father provided me that life. He earned with his own hard work. He's a lovely agriculturist. He takes care of his farms. He takes care of his crops like he takes care of his, his children, like us. And with his own hard work, he pays for his family. And the life we live is solely not dependent on anyone but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My Shaykh provides for his, his friends, provides for his jamaat, rather than he seeks from the jamaat. Alhamdulillah, during the last floods in Pakistan, even every time where there is any catastrophe or there is any problem, my Sheikh comes in front, leads from the front, and Alhamdulillah, his Jamaat is building houses in Pakistan for the people without having this huge media presence, without coming out and telling each and everyone, this is the work I'm doing. He creates such a harmony and a peace without a person that he's self-motivated and he would work, start working for the betterment of the society. Alhamdulillah, my Sheikh's Jamaat, Jamaat Islahul Muslimin, has branches all over the Pakistan. We have district bodies, we have provincial bodies in all provinces of Pakistan. His, his, his Jamaat it works in the UK, his Jamaat works in quite a few countries. What is the best work, what is the work the Jamaat does is bring people together and making them live the best movement of their lives like you are living today with the zikrullah also my sheikh has a youth organization called ruhani tulba jamaat the youth alhamdulillah they are not only educating themselves in in universities also in madarasas but also they provide back to the society they create seminars where they do all the um, provide the exams mock exams and help these students go into the best of the universities and the students those who are in the universities the people the, the friends of ruhani tulba jama they come together they go to them they help them in whatever they might need and also my sheikh is a jamaat called jamiyat e ulama e tahiriya alhamdulillah the graduates from the madrasa more than 2000 ulama of my sheikh daily work towards the betterment of muslim society not only in madaris not only in masajid but my my Sheikh creates ulama, those who provide for themselves, they, they do khidma in masjid, but they also have a small business of their own. They might come to the masjid and offer a salah, lead a jamaat, but after the jamaat, they would go and provide for their families in their shops, in their businesses. You might see a graduate alim of my Sheikh in a masjid, but you never know what might he doing, what might be he doing for his own life, he might be a mechanic, he might be an engineer, he might be a tradesman, you never know, this is the quality of life my provides, my sheikh provides, my sheikh teaches us to live for. So Alhamdulillah, you all are very blessed to have been in this, in his company, so I would request you to bring your hearts, your spiritual being, you know, it might be a new message, a different feeling for you today, but you know, if it might be difficult to bring your spiritual being here. Just think about that. That you want to bring your spiritual being here in the presence of Oliya Allah. 
and listen to his, listen to his message. A simple yet very comprehensive and fulfilling message. And inshallah, you won't leave from here empty-handed. If you are leaving empty-handed, your heart wouldn't be empty. It would be full of love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And alhamdulillah, we are such a blessed people that we have these such a lovely personalities, the universal personalities like Imam Hussein radiallahu ta'ala anhum to look upon to. Such a beautiful personality. If Imam Hussain Ali Waqam wanted to create a state, he might have stayed in Medina. A thousand of people would have come and do bayat on his hand. He, he was traveling there because people were writing letters to him that the problems we are moving away from Islam. Please come and help us and guide us back to this beautiful religion of your Nana. We don't want to lose this harmony. We don't want to lose this love. And that is the only reason Imam Hussain Ali Makam left the Medina of his whole family. And he was traveling there. But how are unfortunate people, those who are such blinded by the love of wealth, by the love of power that they cannot see the true and beautiful personalities we are provided with. But Alhamdulillah, we are here today and my Sheikh is here. In his, in his company, you would only be given and being provided with the love of Imam Hussain radiallahu ta'ala anhu. But his message is so universal, so beautiful that on the day of judgment, you would be sitting with the Husseinis, with Muhammadis. So, my friends, uh, if if my if my, I spoke a lot today, I I seek your forgiveness. If, my, if I have spoken, uh, which I was not supposed to supposed to speak, may Allah Subhanahu wa Taala bless our hearts with peace, love, and His zikr. Jazakallah.